man, I'm so tired of bullies, man. I'm so tired of people bullying. They bully so much. They don't realize that there's always a bigger, <laughs> always a bigger wall, man. There's always some wall you can't climb over. Or somebody who you will, who will always stand in your way when everybody else has bowed down and kowtowed to your shit. <laughs> this is my second part uh, video to the back to go back to Africa series for Cowboys for Trump. Now, in the process of doing this, you have to realize that now you justify the inflamed protesters to turn into rioters when you start to say nonsense like this. And you turn around and back at the police. And the police look bad because of somebody like you, Cowboys for Trump, head, supports them. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, as sheriff, I don't need your support, man. I don't need to shake your hand no more, okay? I got, I got millions of other people's hands who I could be shaking as opposed to somebody who's probably... Are you really from out here? Or when was you transplanted out here with your slave symbols, or your white shirts and, your, and, and, and stuff like that, looking like you're a Democrat? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. State of the Union address, all the Democrats wore white looking like the organization they started which is proven on youtube videos so if you want to sit there and try to say oh he's talking about something that's not true go youtube the thing go google it okay while we're removing all the democratic uh you know s democratic party old statues of the confederate army let's go ahead and take the party down too and take people uh like this with it those old rhinos like koi <laughs> or cooey or coolie, well, I don't know. I, man, I hope I, I hope to God I don't have to talk to you uh, in person because I would. Well, maybe we should talk in person, so we should sit there and, and, and hash some stuff out. Maybe that's your saving grace. You know, they're so busy trying to say the New Mexico Civil Guard is a bunch of neo Nazis, okay? Because of one of the founding members went to a prison and did. The prison dance. If you go to prison, you gotta do the prison dance, y'all. And you could use that against him, but he's no longer in the organization. So then what you got? If he's no longer in the organization, and he's no longer part of that or those old organizations he was a part of in prison, he's not making statements saying go back to Africa. He's actually doing things that uh you know for different communities of color across different uh, states, but that's not, I'm not here to talk about him and plead his case for you, I'm here to talk about the nonsense, and you know what, I got, a, I got, I just got my passport a couple years ago too, so I'm ready to go, if you want to go ahead and send me back, um, I'll take a little trip, tell me, what am I taking with me, am I taking the car engine with me? Am I taking uh, toilets with me? The, am I taking inventions with me too? Or am I just taking me? Because uh, you, you're under this impression that there's a there's a there's a fragility amongst the black race. So you had this authority to speak in such a aggressive tone towards them. But I'd be first to tell you, man. Come with it, man. Come on. Let's go to the ranch, bro. Anyway, you want to have your talk with me? You debate with me, you can have a drunken talk with me. I will beat you with facts drunk. What you want, man? Anything you want. I'm not, you know, you got you got a you got a descendant of a cavalry man on your hands, so you're not gonna catch that. You you're gonna miss you with their white supremacist nonsense. You're gonna miss you with their Antifa nonsense, and in fact, you look more like Antifa. You like a descendant of Antifa walking around with those white shirts on. And those sashes talking about your cowboys. And and by the way, just so you know, just so you know, just so you know your history, your <laughs> your history, your history, because both of my parents are historians. People weren't called cowboys back then, in case you missed it in the first video. They were horsemen, they were horse people. Or if in derogatory term, they were horse horse uh cowboy. Go get the cowboy. As it was quicker than saying nigga or cracker. It was quicker. 
So they said boy, insignificant thing. So they started, they tried to say that, they tried to call old black men boy to the, up to their 80s. Some old disrespect thing. So you want to be a cowboy. And first of all, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. First of all, that's, that's, that's the first of all thing. Second of all, there aren't that many Anglo uh, people like that doing the gunslinging John Wayne thing. You are a fictitious, uh, you are a, what you call a, uh, a reincarnation of Hollywood's idea of what a cowboy looks like. You are a, a recreation of John Wayne, Shane, and the Rifleman from Gunsmoke all together in their wardrobe closet. Because if you understand anybody who was dealing with the struggles of manifest destiny or slavery or ranching or plantation they didn't dress all cute and quaint like you parade yourself around to do in front of all your so-called constituents and, and voters and things like that or maybe you just, you just kind of lost a bunch messing with me i mean because i'm not going to shut up and maybe you can come try to shut me up i dare you but but anyway like i was saying uh you look like a panderer uh, absolute panderer of the anglo-american male you like an absolute panderer of a new mexican you like an absolute panderer of an american because if you understand any historical pre <laughs> pretense to what you're dressing they didn't dress like that man nobody dressed like that okay and they didn't call themselves cowboys you're reliving hollywood you're a reenactor with you just changed out your pistols, man. <laughs> You're a reenactor, man. So what exactly do you uh, want to contribute to New Mexico as opposed to just parading around on your high horse like you got a plantation somewhere around here you looking looking down on folks? You need to look down on folks? You need to be on your high horse when you show up? You need your high horse when you show up? Is that what you need? You need your high horse when you show up? Okay. Just say what it is, man. Say what it is. Keep keep on saying, you know, I need to go back to Africa. Uh, just just go down the line, man. Just 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 go down all the races and tell tell each one what to go do, because the Anglo American race is just so mighty in America, so so mighty. Yeah, right, man. Yeah, right. You you've missed all of that. All that is changing. All that superiority complex. That's the only systemic racism we had to deal with. The system of your damn brain being an infectious disease to another person's brain so they can focus on being zero as opposed to being whole. I was watching The Matrix earlier. I just found, you know, defining the whole cipher and Neo thing. So we can get it in, bro. All, any day you want, all day. We can talk about it, man. We can talk about it. We can hash it out. We can do it live. We do it on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter. All those things go live. We can get people to go live, man. And you can sit there and explain yourself why you feel like I need to go back to Africa and why you need to be on your high horse around people telling people they need to go back to Africa. To me, white shirt, horseman hat, because you're not a cowboy, horseman hat, horse, flag up, the only thing missing is your torches and your white hoods, man. Let's just keep it real. And I don't care if somebody made it up the statement or whatever. You never got checked clearly for telling somebody to go back to Africa. You never got uh, checked clearly for that. So this is consider yourself checked. You want to say something back to me? No, you cannot unless you have a check.